Drunk Nostalgia. Four idiots, no script, one bottle of whiskey. Talk. Teenage Mutant. Ninja Turtles. No way! Yeah. Everyone ha had a fave. I always found Raphael my favourite. He was the most abstract of a lot. He didn't take it as seriously as the rest of them. Do you think he had a knowing smile that he was a talking turtle? <laughs> that he was just yeah, yeah. an animated turtle <laughs> <laughs> who he didn't have a future. He was he, a self-aware piece yeah. of self-drawing yeah. in like an animator studio. Yeah. Capitalism is based on subjugating working class people. <laughs> you know? Existence has no meaning. He was terrified. Pizza problem. I think some of the lads had genuine addiction problems. There was even a period there where you could buy branded Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle pizzas. And didn't they front an anti-drugs campaign that somehow tied it in? Yes, it was say no to drugs, say yes to pizza. <laughs> and now there's childhood obesity everywhere. Exactly. Maybe if all those kids were hooked on cocaine and said they'd be twitchy but active. They'd be skinny, they'd have big eyes, they'd have great Tumblr photos, it would look cool. Career goal. I still don't really know what the fucking story was with the big lad that Krang lived inside. Maybe he was a bouncer. Yeah. He had a criminal record, so he wasn't <laughs> able to get any normal mainstream work. So a brain was like, look, it's not a typical job description. Yeah. The hours are, aren't great. But geez, it's, isn't it an adventure in itself <laughs> that I'll just live in the center of your stomach? Besides, it'll look great in your CV. Between the years of 89 and uh, 96, what were you doing? Oh, I was just carrying this brain-like creature around in my crotch. <laughs> your penis. No, no, no. This, this. No, there was a kind of a... a hollow in my torso. You explain? You're a marsupial. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of not quite that, but basically. Cool, yeah, I mean... Channel 6 stinks. April O'Neil must have smelled like absolute shite because all she did all day, from what I could tell, was hang around the sewers looking for trouble. Maybe like April O'Neil is like one really powerful shareholder's mentally unwell daughter. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but with her for the next few years anyway. Um, she used to get on with Leonardo. That's the weird part. Because don't turtles lay eggs? I mean, how would that relationship work? Yeah, of course, it was it, doomed. But there was a classic Romeo and Juliet thing. We all got that. Yeah, we all got that subject. <laughs> the futility of love. That's what, <laughs> that's what the message was. I'm crushed with despair. Funding a cr criminal gang. So Shredder and all the boys are down in the fucking middle of the earth having a grand old time. And this is kind of where the mystery is. If you're starting from the core, <laughs> drill the other way. Yeah. It's the same distance to any other point. We're going to the most heavily pleased city on the face of the planet. <laughs> that also seems to crying. have these really annoying turtles that <laughs> thwart us every everything. time we go. And Could we try somewhere like in remote Ghana or something yeah. next time? Why aren't we drilling for oil? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The turtles theme song met you. Beat. They showed out of everyone in the room with a cushion and pretend you were also a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Oh fuck, I'm sorry mom, I didn't mean to do that. Wow! You'll be an awful daft muggins not to subscribe to the Mashed YouTube channel. And also, if you want to check out more episodes of Drug Nostalgia, please go to all four. It's like a really short little trip to the pub with people you went to school with and you're like, wow, these guys are still exactly the same. And thank God I've changed and those guys are still doing this every Saturday.